So in the last video, we showed how to um, use the truck to drive across, and it was a we duplicated the code from this green car. And the challenge that was given at the last video was, can you put a vehicle on this side, uh, one in this lane that drives this way, and one in this lane that drives that way? So I'm just going to do that really quickly right now. I hope that uh, you understand the logic in what I'm doing. If not, just review this, or you can send me a question. So. Uh, step number one, we need to get another vehicle. So let's go get another vehicle. Uh, this time, uh, maybe I'm going to try a uh, motorcycle. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So I've got a motorcycle, and I want it to go um, in the other direction, and I want it to go with some speed. So we'll put the motorcycle in the slow lane for now. And we need to turn it around. So right here uh, where it says direction 90, I can just say, uh, I can drag it around and say direction negative 90. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it is with code. And the code would be right here, which is point in direction. And then you can just say uh, negative 90 here as well. So same, same thing. Um, Although, uh, yes, right, of course, uh, the it's now all confused and is upside down. Um, so let's set the rotation style to left, right. That, that'll help us a little bit. And then if you click one time, there we go. That's a little better. Uh, it's still a little bit large. So I think the last time I, I used 35, if I remember correctly, and press enter. Uh, that's pretty small. Not going to be much of a challenge for our uh, frog to get around, but that's okay. So there's just a few little quick bits of code to help us. And then I'm going to go back to the convertible and I'm going to drag the code on top of the motorcycle. So I click the topmost piece, drag it down. You'll see the, the, the motorcycle does a little dance. You kind of have to make sure that you get to the right place. And then when I go to the motorcycle, there's our code. And you can see it kind of dragged on top of the code we had started with. So. I'm just going to separate this out temporarily. Remember that our go-to XY is going to be refreshed. We're going to get new ones, so we can throw those away. I'm going to get a new point in direction. There we go. Now those are looking a little better. And then uh, when the green flag is clicked, now somewhere up here, ah, there it is. There's a go-to XY. Am I happy with this location? I think I'm fairly happy with that location. So I'm going to put that go-to XY here and then I'm going to reattach. So remember, we've really only fixed, um, oh, sorry, I forgot the other one. When it touches the edge, go back to the starting point. So we've really only added two pieces, so the point in direction and the set rotation style. And then uh, for the go to X, Y is just the new location. Um, and uh, we're still using a speed of two, change X by two, and that's perfectly fine because it's in the slow lane. And so let's uh, get another creature. Um, let's get a, uh, maybe there's other trucks. Oh, there's a food truck. That, that doesn't look like something that should be in the passing lane, but okay. And because the code for the motorcycle had a bunch of changes in it, and I like those changes, I'm going to put that, that code into this food truck. So did the food truck do the dance? Yes, it did. Let it go and then go check out the food truck code. Now, once again, it's going to tell me to go to the wrong location. So those go to X, Y's, I'm going to throw that away. And if I click on this, it turns the truck around, which is good because this is the point in direction, negative 90 that we wanted. I'm going to resize it down. Let's try 35 again and see if that looks okay. A mm, little bit large. Our food truck is kind of a, a very large thing. So I might have to go quite a bit smaller with the food truck. It might make it look too silly, but... Uh, okay, 25, not enough. Maybe 20 is enough. There we go. Now at least it'll fit in our lane, which, yeah, it's definitely got some silliness to it. If you want to go back to your um, costumes area and and... You can erase some of these pieces and then it, it'll just look like a silly truck and fill up the space a little more. But I'm just going to leave mine for now, right now. Um, 
So, and again, when we, uh, we need our change X, so let's see, is that a good location? So it's not touching the edge. We'll, we'll fix that in, a, in an advanced video to make them hide behind the edge. Um, oh, there we go. Go to X, Y. And so when we've got it in the perfect location, we can put in those two places and then reattach this and send it on its way. Now, I will say if it is in the passing lane, remember last time we set the passing speed to three. So I'm just going to change that to three. And now when I click the green flag, all of the vehicles should go back to the start. Oh, there's a problem. Look at that. My vehicles are still driving in the wrong direction. Silly, silly me. So let's set the truck to, to rights. So instead of changing X by positive three, and uh, by saying that, I'm probably tipped you off, that we're going to use a negative three instead. So it's going to be changing by negative three. It's going to be subtracting three every time it goes through this counting system. And also for the motorcycle, instead of a positive two, uh, I'm not sure why this went off the top. Maybe it just didn't like me. Um, instead of a positive two, let's try a negative two. There we go. All right. So let, now we'll click the green flag. And we actually look like we have something happening. Now, one of the things that you can do to very simply change this so it doesn't look like it's the same vehicles driving over the same road all the time is to put in something about changing the look of it. So we can change the costume. So, for instance, on the, um, on the regular truck, I know that there's a number of costumes already built in. And so I'm going to go to the code section and I'm just going to say, if it's touching the edge, go to the next costume. Now you can do it other ways. It could certainly be more complicated. If I go to the motorcycle, there are a number of different costumes that kind of all look the same. So this could be very silly. So, but I can definitely go and grab that next costume. So every time it touches the edge, it changes costume and, uh, Actually, I should put that above. Uh, and I'll go back with my truck and put that above. So next costume should come first. And then for the food truck, I can do this, the same thing. You can also um, add whole other um, objects in there, whole other sprites. So let's turn the green flag on. And so when they get to the end, they should change into something else. And away they go. Let's hope that works. Seems to be working okay for right now. Although um, our green car, we didn't change that to. So there you go. This is kind of the answer to um, the questions of the last one, which was how do we get vehicles uh, in other places, in, in other lanes. And uh, the next video will add some more um, effects to this.